What's up everyone? Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm at home, it's really hot outside. So what we're gonna do today is make some homemade dough bait for trout or catfish, works for both. Anyways, I've had a lot of success on it. It's worked for me in the past, still use it to this day. It only takes about 10, 15 minutes to make, it's real easy. So yeah, let's dive into it, show you guys how it's made, let's go. All right, everyone, here we go. First thing you're gonna need, bowl. And now we'll add the ingredients to said bowl. What you're gonna need is a cup of flour. Now this makes a whole lot of bait. Cup of flour in. And then you're gonna need a quarter cup of cornmeal. Now, you don't wanna to add too much of this, because the more you add, the softer the bait gets, less pliable it gets, and it won't stay on the hook very well, even with the treble hook. All right, now we're also gonna add a half cup of oats. And then to give it some extra scent, we're gonna add some garlic powder to it, about two tablespoons or so. You can add more or less. Now mix it up real good. Get it all incorporated. Then we're gonna add some water to it. We're gonna make it a uh, doughy texture, obviously. We're gonna make it like a Play-Doh, but not too wet, not too dry, to where we can form it into tiny little balls. Here we go, we'll add a little bit of water at a time. Mix it up. Now, there I made it add a little too much water. It's too sticky, too runny. So what you can do in this case, just add a little more flour. Still not thick enough. Add a little more. All right, now that's what you're looking for right there. It's kind of like Play-Doh, maybe a little softer. Kind of pulls apart a little bit, just like that. Now, what we gotta do is make it into little, little balls. Not too big, something maybe like that. And you roll it together, and you drop it in your water. Now I like to boil mine because if you take it straight like this and out to the lake, put it on your hook, treble hook, whatever, it's odds are it's gonna fall off when you cast or after it's been sitting out there for a while. Boiling it really helps it uh, create a hard outer shell, which in turn kind of cooks, cooks the dough bait and uh, makes it a little more pliable. So yeah, we'll just do this real quick. We'll get it all boiled up or cooked. I'm gonna look at it and we'll go from there. Now one thing you could do with this is you could add food coloring. You can make it red, green, yellow, whatever. And that works just fine as well. And like I said before, I've had a, a lot of success just off this basic recipe. And, and I mean, really, it, it's so easy to do. The only problem is is it doesn't float. It does not float off the bottom. So you'll have to either use a bobber or um, use a little float rig like I use in some of my videos. I'll leave a link up top if you wanna check that out. All it is is a, uh, a little piece of styrofoam, I think is what they use, or float, whatever. A little bobber that attaches about four or five inches above your bait and um, just keeps it off the bottom. Holds it up to where the fish can see it a little easier. Now this is really the longest part of the process is getting any of these fine balls. And you don't really need to use this. You can just pick, you can pick little pieces off, roll it up in your hand real easy, and throw it in the water. 
Another thing is you don't want your water to be like a rolling boil. You want it to be more like just a, a simmer. Because if you overcook it, it's gonna get way too hard. And once you throw it in the fridge to save it or freezer and you go to use it again, it's just gonna crumble into pieces. So just, just be wary of that. And you can make variants of this recipe. You can add or remove whatever you want. And I do have more recipes um, I will be coming out with in the future. Um, so yeah, stick around for that, definitely. So we'll let these boil up for a little bit and then uh, I'll show you guys how I store them. All right, so this is what you're left with. It's been about a minute, minute and a half they've been on there. And they've already starting to harden up a little bit. So use yourself a little slotted spoon, kind of drain the water off of them and place them to the paper towel. You're gonna to wanna to let these sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before uh, before storing them in a plastic bag or Ziploc bag, whatever. What you end up with is uh, some beautiful round balls of dough bait. Now this stuff also works for catfish. You did after sitting for a while. The dough bait we made is really pliable. And it's just like a dough bait you'd find at the store. You can split it, mold it, sticks to the hook really well, and it's really easy to store. All you need is a little Ziploc bag, throw it in, and you just throw it in the fridge after that. And then when you're ready to go out, out fishing, just grab the bag, throw it in your cooler, throw it in your truck, whatever, and uh, tear off a little piece, throw it on your hook, set it out there, and you're ready to go. Hey okay, everybody, thanks for watching. It was a super easy, you know, dough bait to throw together. It's really effective because you know trout love garlic and they love the cornmeal taste to it. So it's like the best of both worlds. It's super effective. The only problem is you can't get it to flow off the bottom unless you use some whatever. I don't know yet. If you know uh, how to get it to float off the bottom, I'd really appreciate it if you let me know down in the comments. Yeah, thank you for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe. It really helps me out. See you guys next time.